Hey Hoopheads, Brad here, and today I want to talk about the Phoenix Suns offense in the fourth quarter and overtime of their 129-128 win over the Bucks. In particular, I want to focus on how Chris Paul was able to read and attack the defense, racking up nine assists in the fourth quarter alone. Let's get into it. On this play, you see Jeff Teague picking Chris Paul up, giving him a little bit of physicality, just trying to make him work on offense. First part of the possession goes fine, but then after Chris Paul screens for Dario Saric, here's where the Bucks start to run into trouble. As Chris Paul gets the ball back, Jeff Teague closing out to him, so it's easy for Paul to get around him, and that means Bobby Portis is going to have to step up, and that's going to leave Middleton worrying about both Saric and Torrey Craig at the same time. And Saric, instead of popping out to the elbow, he's going to curl into the lane. That gets Middleton's attention as Torrey Craig slips back door. Nice work reading the defense there and making them react, all starting with that Jeff Teague closeout where he gets blown by. And now early in the possession, you see Sarge screening for Cam Johnson. P.J. Tucker is going to get stuck trailing, and it looks like Bobby Portis is in good defensive position here. But as Cam Johnson comes across the lane, Portis steps up towards Sarich, and that leaves a lane open to the basket. Johnson curls into it, and at the same time Portis steps towards Sarich, Jeff Teague also takes a gamble, thinking he can get to this pass, which he obviously can't. And if he had stayed home, he might be able to help in the lane, take a charge or bother the shot, but instead it turns into a relatively open dunk. And then the Suns attacking that Portis-Teague combo again. As Chris Paul comes off the screen, you see him snake it. So he gets Jeff Teague on his backside. And Teague is trying to come around the side of him here. But Chris Paul keeps moving forward, keeps putting pressure, not letting him around. Portis is worried about Aiton. And that lets Chris Paul put the floater up and in. Another good read and attack by Chris Paul. And now the Suns will attack Portis and Teague again. And as they do that, you see Drew Holiday's on Devin Booker. As Chris Paul comes off the screen, you know Bobby Portis isn't going to be able to contain him. So Drew has to leave Booker to cut off that lane. So Booker pops out to the top of the arc. And Teague is not aware of where he is on the floor. He's just pursuing Chris Paul. So now you wind up with two guys on Chris Paul. Portis has to worry about Aiton diving to the basket, and Booker is wide open for three. You know how that's going to end. So a short time later, the Bucks have taken Portis and Teague off the floor. Brooke Lopez in his drop coverage. So as Chris Paul comes off the screen, he's got a little bit of room, but Holiday's kind of pressing him from the side. Tough to do the pull-up, so instead he's just going to kick it to the strong side corner for the three-pointer. And watch the timing on this pass. He holds on to it until Giannis takes a step, gets his momentum going towards Chris Paul, and then Paul delivers it to the corner, just giving an extra fraction of a second for Cam Johnson to get the shot off. A nice little move there from Chris Paul, even if the shot didn't go in. And here, as Drew Holiday puts the shot up, keep an eye on Chris Paul. As he catches the outlet pass, he's already reading the floor, looking ahead to find Devin Booker streaking. The ball's in his hand for just a fraction of a second as he snaps it right on the money, right in stride for the dunk. And now Giannis winds up cross mash onto Chris Paul. He tries to attack it with an eight and screen. Doesn't really go anywhere. Gets the ball back. And now this screen's going to work a little bit better. And he snakes it just like he did earlier with Teague. But because Giannis is so much bigger, he's actually able to poke the ball away from behind. The Sun's fortunate to get this one back and find Mikhail Bridges in the corner for the three. You see the versatility of Giannis shining through a little bit there. And then Chris Paul will attack quickly again here off an eight and screen. Gets into open space, driving at Brooke Lopez, and you see Giannis helping off the corner. And Lopez has him so bottled up that Giannis doesn't really need to be doing that. That's going to leave his man open for a three. Maybe a bit of an overhelp there from the Bucks. I know that's something they do a lot, but probably could have dialed it back on this one. And now the Suns, a couple quick passes straight into an eight and screen for Paul. And it looks like this one caught Holiday by surprise because he really dies on this screen. And that gives Paul a lot of room to operate. So he draws Lopez out of the middle a little bit. So now when Aiton dives to the basket, there's nobody there. Lopez can't recover in time. That's going to be an easy deuce. Middleton maybe could have tagged Aiton as he was diving to the basket. But he kind of has to stay tied to Booker. And then Giannis kind of has to stay tied to Jay Crowder in the corner. A bit of a no-win situation situation for the defense after Holiday dies on that screen. And now about 30 seconds left, the Suns down by two. This is the shot that would send them to overtime. And there's not too much to say about this play. Just a great play by Devin Booker. Quality defense by Chris Middleton. He gets a good shot contest on it even, but just better offense. 
And now I want to highlight some defense from Devin Booker. Holiday pitches it to Giannis, and then Middleton's going to run off the Holiday screen for the handoff from Giannis. And watch Booker's foot here. See how much ground he covers to get up and over the Giannis screen. Middleton attacks Aiton to force the switch, but because Booker did such a good job of getting up and over it, he's able to recover and get in the passing lane to deflect the pass to Giannis that would have surely been an easy two. Great defensive footwork and great effort there. And now Drew Holiday is going to attack Devin Booker off the dribble. And as he does, keep an eye on Pat Connaughton. He cuts through the lane and instead of going all the way to the corner, he stops at the dunker spot. And now because Booker does a good job on the drive and Aiton is right there with some potential help, Holiday tries to go to the other side, but Connaughton's man is right there and he just blocks the crap out of it. Nice work by Booker and Bridges and the Bucks spacing probably could have been a little bit better there. And here you see the utility of the Bucks switchable lineup with Tucker in Lopez's place. Tucker with some nice fronting in the post, good positional work, good strength. Aiton comes up to set the screen for Booker instead. Tucker switches onto Booker now. Great job of moving his feet, doesn't get beat or anything. No overhelping, but just a great shot by Devin Booker off the window. No stopping that. And now a little bit of two-man game from Chris Paul and Devin Booker. Eventually, Chris Paul is going to get Middleton switched on to him, looking to attack. He gets to the free throw line, throws a pump fake at him. Middleton doesn't really bite, but Chris Paul still gets off another really tough shot. This is pretty solid defense by the Bucks. Just really great shot making from the Phoenix Suns down the stretch of this game. And now watch this move by Booker on Middleton. Middleton pokes the ball away at first, pressuring up, but watch Booker's attack here. He takes a dribble at him, and then he takes a little step back like he's going to go for the step back three, and that freezes Middleton enough to let him beat him going left. And now, because Middleton gets beat so badly, Tucker has to rotate over while DiVincenzo tries to cut off the pass to Ayton, and that lets the pass get to the corner for the wide open Mikhail Bridges three. He drills it super clutch. The Suns would go on to win this one. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think of the Suns title chances in the comments.